Hi, I'm Stephen Neary. This is the making of Dr. Breakfast. The idea for Dr. Breakfast, um, this man's soul bursting out of his eyeball and eating stuff is pretty old, but I added the mundane deer characters as a way to contrast with the insanity. Um, and as I developed the film, I found their characters more and more appealing until they really became this emotional core of, of this film about friendship. Once those themes are set based on the concept art, I go in and sketchbook and bridge, and I start storyboarding and pitching to myself to get a better sense of the timing. Now, once all those storyboards are drawn, I'll go ahead and compile an animatic. Um, this is all the storyboards together with temp music and sound, pretty much like the finished cartoon. If something isn't working in the animatic, I just do more storyboards. Hey, man. Hey, are you okay? Eventually, I'll put in the final dialogue, but the final sound effects and final mix come from my sound designer, Robin, later. Dude, snap out of it! So the story's all there, but now the problem is how to animate this all, um, especially if you have a day job. But fortunately, I have a really long commute every day on Metro North, and um, the great thing about Metro North is they have these electrical outlets. So really, I just plug a light box in, um, it's probably good that I don't have really high standards about my animation anyhow. Um, it's just got to get the story across. Uh, later I color everything with shape layers in After Effects. Oh, yes! For the deer, I just use a bunch of layers in After Effects. Uh, some of the layers are hand-drawn cycles scanned in, and the rest are shape layers. Um, I parent layers and turn layers on and off and connect them all to make a crude puppet. It's a little bit complicated, but nothing you can't do on the train with a really old laptop. The backgrounds were all hand-painted on pretty small pieces of paper just to give them as much texture as possible. For a lot of the night backgrounds, I painted in inverse colors and then just cheated by inverting the colors in Photoshop. Here uh, you can see the whole process, starting with boards, pencil animation on layers, coloring with shape layers and after effects, um, with the animation on multiply, uh, final background, and everything stacked together. Of course, I couldn't do the rest of this without uh, Robin doing sound design, Nick doing music, Chris and Vadim doing deer voices. Um, so thanks a lot for watching.